How's it everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, you will learn all the steps about how to start your first company or your business in South Africa. Now, it's very important if you decide to start your business, how are you going to do this ownership thing? Because you can either run the business in your own name or you can register a company. If you do run the business in your own name, this is very useful if you're like a self-employed, if you're a freelancer, if you're a creator, a lot of creators fall into this category because often they don't need staff and things like that. Or if you don't, if you're not going to employ people, then running the business in your own name might be a good idea. The second thing is it's potentially when you, if you don't know whether the business will work, running it in your own name don't run you into any risks of having to register the company and then later deregister it. So it's a safe bet to start the company in your own name. In terms of registration requirements, there are no registration requirements in order to run the business in your own name. Like you can be Andre Botma trading as Andre Botma Tax, or you can be Peter van Aswegen trading as Peter's Mutters. It doesn't require any registration, so it's quite cheap to get started. However, the biggest downside of running a business in your own name is that you can't sell the business. You can't sell yourself. Okay, some people will <laughs> disagree with that, but the point is you cannot create any additional value outside of yourself except for maybe the assets that you have. And contrary that to a company, you can register a company on CIPC. Now you have a company registration number. But a lot of people think that you need to have a CIPC company registration number in order to have a business. And that's not true. You can run a business in your own name. So that's very important. The other benefit of registering on CIPC and getting that registration number is now you have actually a separate entity and you can build the value in the company outside of yourself. The other benefit of registering a company is that, or separately, is that you can hire staff and put them in the company, employment contracts and things like that. It is easier to create separation between yourself as the individual and the business that you have. Registering on CIPC costs about 150 Rand and maybe you need to do a name reservation as well. But note that deregistering the company takes quite a while. So if it doesn't work out, it takes a while to close things off. So that's basically how the registration works. There will also be a difference in how the tax work if you, if you trade in your own name or if you trade as a business. So the first step is deciding what is going to be the ownership structure of the business. The second important thing to mention about the type of business that you decide to run, whether it's in your own name or as a company through CIPC, is that there are different compliance requirements between the two. If you run a business in your own name, you only need to comply to submitting your tax returns with SARS and maybe other certificates. For example, if you want to run a bottle store, you will need a liquor license. But outside of licensing and submitting your returns, there aren't a lot of requirements a statutory or tax requirements for a sole proprietorship. For a registered company though, the Companies Act is responsible and will, and you will need to look at all the things that you need to comply to with the Companies Act. Things like you have to file annual returns, beneficial ownership, the company has to keep up to date on CIPC, it has company tax returns, company financial statements. If you have employees, now we're talking about EMP tour ones, if a company registered for VAT, VAT, uh, VAT returns as well. And according to the Companies Act, if a company trades, it requires an accountant, either internally, the books are done internally or externally. So the major difference between sole proprietorship and keeping things in your own name and a company registering it on CIPC is there's a lot more uh, compliance requirements that you need to do and that can be quite costly so my recommendation normally is if a company is not making a lot of money or you don't have enough demand or enough sales yet run things in your own name until things become stable because all these compliance requirements can easily rack up the cost to 10,000 Rand a year up to 50,000 Rand a year for a registered company so just keep that in mind the two compliance requirements. The second thing, the next step after registering your business is that you need to set up a bank account. Now, even if you have the business in your own name, it's always a good idea to have a separate bank account from your personal bank account because business income and expenses is different to personal income and expenses. For example, 
if you buy groceries, that is for yourself. But if you have, if you run a photography studio, you have to rent photography equipment. And so that goes on the business bank account. Normally, self-employed people, freelancers, those guys, they don't have a separate bank account. And which is why sometimes it helps if you have a established business, it is an easier, a better idea to actually turn yourself into a company because there's a clear separation between the business and yourself. So that's the second step is if you have a company or if you run the business in your own name, get a separate bank account. It also makes the bookkeeping and the accounting much easier because accounting platforms and bookkeeping platforms, accountants, they don't want to process several different bank accounts. They want to know, okay, is this the bank account that you're gonna use? If yes, okay, then we process that. So that is the next step. And then the final step to get, you, to get yourself set up is to actually register the company or the business on an accounting platform online. It could be Stub, it could be Zero, it could be QuickBooks, it could be any of those companies. And it's a great way to send or create your invoices from, it can pull data from your bank accounts. And so, because if you don't have that and you still run things on Excel or on, you know, <laughs> goodness sakes, on pen and paper, then your books is just gonna stay out of date and you're not gonna feel like you actually have a business. At least if your things are on a cloud accounting software, it is easy to stay up to date with the books. And also, then you can give that information to your bookkeeper or your accountant so that if you're a photographer or if you're a videographer or if you uh, sell shoes or whatever your business is if you're a consultant then it means that you don't have to do your finances yourself you can actually hand it off to somebody so they are good at what they do so that you can focus on what you do so that's the basic setup of how to start a business in south africa one decide the type of ownership that you want to have run a business in your own name or on CI get a business bank account or a separate bank account and three set up an accounting or invoicing platform but that is really only the setup and here's a controversial tag is a lot of people think oh, I've registered a business on CIPC and then now what the thing is a business exists only if it has a product or service to sell that people are willing to pay for and it makes enough money so that it con can continue doing business. So whenever I work with people or businesses, that's my focus is what is your product? What is your service? How much are you charging? Where do you get your clients from? So always think, even if you have a registered business on CIPC, it does not actually mean that you have a business. A business requires products and services to be sold at a price to continue doing business going forward. I hope that was useful. Um, maybe in the next video, I might create a video on how to actually register for CIPC or something like that. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. You can click here for the next one. Otherwise, you can subscribe. Cheers.